matchup, she said, these games are always the juiciest, best games of the tournament. <laughs> and we are looking forward to it here in Bloomington, Indiana, between Miami in their orange jerseys with the green and white trim and Oklahoma State in their white jerseys as Oklahoma State with the first possession of the game. Alnadis at the top of the key, transferred over from Kansas City with her head coach, J.C. Hoyt. As let's look at today's starting lineups brought to you by Capital One for Miami. Destiny Harden and Cavender we talked about. Jasmine Roberts, the sophomore. Williams and Pendande, the 6'4 senior from Spain, rounded out for Miami. Katie Meyer, all-time winningest coach at Miami, men's or women's basketball history. One of four active ACC co head coaches to lead their team to 10 NCAA tournament appearances. Oklahoma State's starting lineup, Naomi or Mimi Alnadas, Claire Chastain, and Taryn Milton, both transferred over from UT Arlington. And Taylin Collins, Lexi Keys, both Oklahoma State players last year. They were a part of the Oklahoma State team that was in the NCAA tournament just a couple of years when they were years ago when they were freshmen. Yeah, and immediately Miami gets into their horn set and, and uh want to start off shooting the mid-range jumper, wanting to go inside, and Miami's really good at rebounding. Now Destiny Harden gets the rebound but can't finish the putback. And you're going to see on for Oklahoma State, a lot of players can shoot the three. A lot of players can score. So they move the ball around and distribute the ball really, really well. Yeah, this is a team that averages almost 76 points a game. They're the leading team in the Big 12 in three-point percentage. And on cue, Alnadis knocks down a three. She, she just runs back like it's effortless. Taryn Milton just over 10 points, and then Lior Garzon is going to come off the bench with over 10 points. Cavender with the jumper for Miami. Yeah, Miami wants to rebound and run. Chastain puts the ball on the floor. Nice. Tough drive to the rim. 10 on the shot clock. Drive on the baseline, and Jasmine Roberts hits. Nice skip. Clock running down. Well, as a player, I want, I want to know that. What does my coach want from me? Lexi Keys from the baseline. Cavender. Gets away from Roberts. Alnadis, head up. Keys. Cassidy DeLapp, number one for Oklahoma State, is in the game. And Ooh. she is fouled. How about that? Lior Garzon just checked into the game, and the Indiana fans still in attendance from our first game cheered for her <laughs> because her sister Yarden plays for the Hoosiers. You gotta love that. That's a that's a that's a very educated fan base. Over 14,000 tickets were sold for today. And a lot of those Hoosier fans sticking around to see who they're going to play in the second round on Monday. Oh, ball fake. Doesn't go in, though, for Old Acre. Yeah, Miami's just making Oklahoma State play fast and got a great turnover. Area vets into the game. The grad student from Croatia with the basketball. Shot clock is winding down. Williams steps back. Ooh, big rebound for Jasmine Roberts. You gotta push back. You gotta push back. Don't penalize an athlete that they can jump over you. Push back on that rebound. She was named the head coach of Oklahoma State, and then she brought Naomi or Mimi Alnadas with her, the transfer to be her point guard number three. And we're all tied up here. Under four minutes to go in the first quarter. We. We knew this would be a good game and just intrigued by this matchup with a different style of play. They're both balanced teams, but balanced in different ways. And 
Miami has certainly showed their strength on the offensive boards in the early going. Very athletic, pursuing the basketball and finishing. Oklahoma State nice pass. finished in a three-way tie for fourth place in the Big 12. They're one of only three teams in the country that's beaten the number one seed by double digits, and that was against Virginia Tech in the regular season. Yeah, that's hard to do because Virginia Tech has had a great year, but this right here, Miami's putting on a show for offensive rebounds. Well, and, and you and I saw the semifinals of the Big 12 championship. This is what Texas did to this Oklahoma State team. They really beat them on the offensive boards. Yeah, and, uh, Oklahoma State can score. And wow, we've already had some great games in this tournament. There's already three double-digit seeds that have advanced, a couple of overtime games. <laughs> That's hard to say. Bracket plus. And Oklahoma State takes a two-point lead. Backdoor cut, but an errant pass from area vets. Yeah, great decision. Just got to deliver that pass. Anna Gret Ossi, number four on the court for Oklahoma State. Alnada sees a gap. Nice. What a great, she just hesitates. She just hesitates just enough. Had one of the best games of her career in the NCAA first round last year. And a scramble for the ball. Aussie comes away with it. Good battle inside. Going to be a good battle. Just two bigs going at each other. And tied up. Jump ball will stay on this end. Claire Chastain returns to the court for Oklahoma State. Destiny Harden, number three for Miami, back on the court. And somehow, <laughs> Aussie able to get through to score. Five on the shot clock. Harden, top of the key. Yeah. No, and good block out that time for Collins. Solid, solid defense for Oklahoma State. Getting Miami late in the shot clock. And the clock is winding down on the first quarter. Aussie for three. Oh. Banks it in. Biggest lead of the game for Oklahoma State on the banker. Up 19 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. <laughs> Some line dancing lessons as well. That's right. Get your boots on. You saw there at the end as Harden hits is the younger sister of Lior Garzone, who is not on the court right now for Oklahoma State, but is a potent offensive threat for them as well as she averages over 10 points a game. Nice pass inside yeah. to Claire Chastain, who finishes. It all happened because Oklahoma stayed on the boards, got the offensive rebound. Strong, strong move. No finish for Harden. Yeah, Miami's doing a good job of using the clock, getting good looks. Just got to finish. Along the baseline, slippery move from Lexi Keys. Cavender pushing. Both Cavenders in the game, one to another. That's a little twin connection there for the score. Well, you can tell they play a lot together. They know where each other, that where they are on the floor, and and just pass and repass. A lot of times they don't play together because they're both 5'6", and sometimes on this end they may get taken advantage of and posted up as Milton goes over Cavender in the paint. But, boy, do they work well offensively together. Hannah to Haley. Nice pass inside for Pendande for the score. Yeah, if you're going to go for that, Stu, you got to get it. If you don't, it's going to be a, an, an easy two for Miami. Backdoor nice cut from Chastain. You and I have done enough games together over the last <laughs> couple of years. I know what you like. I'm a little excited. Excellent passing. Good defense. You like rebounding. Love rebounding. Mm -hmm. Nice. Jumper from Williams. Back to basics. Just clean up fundamentals. She thought that we're missing, especially after the ACC tournament. The lap scores inside. And I loved how Katie Meyer talked about how in the ACC, as Cavender driving all the way, Aussie over to Alnadis. How about that for the three? 
And I would think after this timeout, Katie Meyer's going to get the ball in her hands, but somebody can then make a play. Offensive foul. Under two minutes to play in the second quarter here in Bloomington. The winner of our game will play the number one seed, Indiana, and Garzon back on the court. Miami trying to push the ball inside, got a little mismatch there. Cavender too strong, another good rebound from Collins. Gosh, Brenda, I think Miami's getting the looks. The ball's not going, at the, they're getting late in the clock, but getting good looks. Seven rebounds for Taylor Collins as we wind down time here in the first half. Oklahoma State had a banked in three to end the first quarter. What do they have here? for the end of the half. Verzone is hassled, but oh! she banks it in! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Banked in three-pointers in the first and second quarters in Young and Garzone cheering on her sister, Lior. Even though they might meet in the next round, she's still cheering her on. So Miami has the possession as we start the third quarter. Holly, what do they need to do to get a little momentum, get some things going here right away? Well, they, they need to, to really focus on finishing plays, and I thought they did a great job of defending, but their defense needs to lead into their transition game. Keep going hard to the boards, and they got to get second-chance looks. Nice pass to Pendande for a good, productive first possession of the quarter. And you see it, Miami immediately jumping into their press. They want to try to speed Oklahoma State up and get Oklahoma State late in the shot clock. Well, double team to get the ball out of the hands of Alnadas. They're just trapping everywhere. And they force a turnover. Roberts to Pendande. Got yeah. it. Yeah, two. Uh, too quick. But well, Miami's big and athletic, Brenda, and they're causing a lot of havoc on the offensive end. And we'll see if if this plays into Miami getting back into this basketball game. Collins misses on her putback attempt, and some empty possessions here for Oklahoma State to start. Tough shot. Wow. Driving to the basket, Williams, and she's fouled. Williams, the 5'9 sophomore, she had scoliosis in high school and had to have spine surgery between her junior and senior years. Thought she may not ever be able to play again, but she is excelling at Miami. Four seconds on the shot clock. Milton going to work. Step back. No. And here comes Miami. The Hurricanes were down by 17 points at the half. They've cut it to 12. Good pass. And again, Pendande, they found a weakness there in the Oklahoma State defense. She uses those her, her long body. It's lengthy. Her, her wingspan is lengthy. Just right there, blocking shots. Really takes advantage of her athletic ability. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but we woke up in Bloomington, Indiana this morning, and there was snow on the ground. <laughs> so I think, you know, maybe Miami took a little while to get warmed up. I think so. <laughs> Oklahoma State has not scored in the quarter, and we're four minutes in. Chastain. She's got to pull up. Got to pull up before that. She's just going into trees right now. And you can see it like it looked like it crossed her mind. Like there's no way I'm going to get this up over Pendande. Yeah, wanted to pull up. Oklahoma State is a high scoring team and usually shoot with a lot of efficiency. Uh, however, they have not here in the third quarter after shooting 50% in the first half. Yeah. Big offensive board, Jasmine Roberts, and all of a sudden it's a six-point game. Well, the tempo is really in Miami's favor. They're making Oklahoma play fast. They look a little winded right now, rushing their shots, rushing their passes. Miami bringing the heat. Let's see what you did there. That's right. <laughs> Ozzie breaks the 11 to nothing run for Miami. 
Yeah, Aussie's not chilled. She's bringing it. Canada with the answer. Here we go. Here we go. Aussie has nice nowhere to go. Williams all over and the frustration from Aussie. Miami outscored Oklahoma State 14 to 3 to start the third quarter. Well, you knew Miami was going to make a run and they did it with their defense and now after the timeout we got to see what kind of adjustments Oklahoma State is going to make. And Pendande now with eight points in the third quarter alone. Aldonis picks up her dribble and the anticipation by Roberts. She yes. scores and is fouled. Love it. Started with the defense. Just a turnover and... Look, Miami's not going to wait to set. They don't want to set their offense. They want to turn and attack the basket. So they get a press. She picked up a dribble. Can't pick up your dribble. Pass. Attack the basket. Gets an and one. Alnatis is on the bench talking to J.C. Hoyt about that. It's a two-point ball game here in Bloomington. Milton out top with the basketball. Picks up her dribble. Garzone. Garzone has a size advantage on Cavender. Really doesn't take advantage. And then the steal. The steal and the score, and we've got a tie ball game. Well, Brenda, the size doesn't matter when Garzone is out or on the three-point line. If that's the case, you should got to get inside. Aussie steps back. One finally win. She drew two fouls on that play, and she got an offensive rebound that led to a basket. Well, I promise you, she's not concerned with her scoring. She's just trying to help her teammates win. Alnata strips it away. Good no call. And right out of the hands of Ariavets. About a five second difference between game clock and shot clock as we wind down the third quarter. What a third quarter. Miami has dominated, outscoring the Cowgirls 20 to 5. It all started with their defense, and defense led to easy transition points. Alnatas gets around one defender. There's Collins again. Yes. First basket of the game, but she's got 12 rebounds now. Miami half court shot. Oh, no. And Miami came all the way back from 17 down. They tied it. But Oklahoma State answers with back-to-back -back buckets because of the rebounding of Taylor Collins. Now J.C. Hoyt has to help her team make an adjustment to answer back. Fourth quarter, a trip to the second round to play the number one seed, Indiana, on the line. Good ball reversal sets up Haley Cavender. Yeah, great ball reversal. A little inside out, move the ball. Great look. Good ball movement for Oklahoma State. Aussie off the backboard, no. Miami tied it in the third quarter, but uh -oh. didn't go ahead. They miss on that opportunity. Ooh, they left her open. Cavender with 10 points, Pendande with 10, Roberts with 12. Three players in double figures for Miami. Alnadez reaches around to Collins, who is quickly double teamed, and they steal the ball away. Harden, Harden, ooh. Fades away, tough shot. That's the first lead for Miami since they led 10 to eight in the first quarter. Just Harden exploded to the basket. And Oklahoma State can't answer. You know, Nottis has got to go in there thinking shot first, not pass. Miami scored 20 points in the entire first half. Then they turned around and scored 20 points in the third quarter. <laughs> Gosh, they're on a roll. Playing with a lot of confidence right now. Pendazzi, no. And the Harden tip in. Rebounding the defense has just gotten Miami so fired up. Aussie with a nice pass inside, and Claire Chastain finishes, and J.C. Hoyt from Oklahoma State calls a timeout. Katie Meyer talked about how in the ACC, 
Sometimes you lose your identity because of how hard you have to play night in and night out. She said every fourth quarter, the game was on the line. It was incredible. And so they were built for games like this. Big three-point shot goes down out of the timeout. Well, there's a reason why they, they beat number one seeded Virginia Tech, a persistent. Their defense plays hard, and, and they've really created a lot of havoc for Oklahoma State. How, how do they, in this critical situation, adjust and, and kind of regain what they had early in the game? Just just sell it. Well, first of all, on defensive end, make Miss Miami take tough shots. And Cavender just shot an open three. Can't give that to her. So get your defense going. Try to score and transition off your defense. Harden hits a three. Yeah. You got, you, it starts with their defense right now. And Harden nails a three. They have their largest lead of the game. Look at the intensity now Miami has on defense. The reassurance that they're doing it right. Collins takes it at Pendande. And Pendande did a great job of getting this Miami team back and, and to go ahead. Yeah, she had eight points in the third quarter when Miami was making that big run. It, it, this game is going to go down to the line. Yeah, they were trailing West Virginia almost the entire Big 12 quarterfinal and came back and hit the game winner with .1 seconds remaining. They've also been in some wild multiple overtime games in Big 12 play earlier this year. So both these teams know what it knows what it takes down the stretch in tight games. And a foul called on Williams on a three-point shot attempt. That's going to send Lexi Keys to the free throw line for three. 75% free throw shooter for Oklahoma State. Take a look back at what Harden did. It just looks like she rolled her ankle a little bit. Lexi Keys makes two of three free throws. As they try to get Harden tape back up. Keys makes all three free throws, so Oklahoma State now draws back within three after being down seven. Nice. Powerful move by the freshman Oldacre. Lexi Keys. The yeah. three-pointer goes for Garzone. You know, I, I know you think it's going in, but just hang around a little bit longer. It, it bounced right back to where she was. Exactly. Old Acre, no. Doesn't, isn't able to score on the putback attempt. Yeah, good defense, no foul called, and, and just solid. Gosh. Aussie takes back the lead for the Cowgirls. I, I sit here going, not yet. <laughs> that was a, no, no, no. Good shot. But that is what Oklahoma State does. That's right. That's they right. Just, they are the top three-point shooting team in the Big 12 as a team shooting almost 37% from three-point range. They're 8 of nice 22 drive. today, and Cavender oh. takes the lead right back for the Canes. Four seconds. Garzone with another opportunity short, but there's Collins. There's Collins rebounding. Collins now with 16 rebounds. Ozzy going to work on Cavender. Comes around the corner. Garzone, top of the key, straight away. No. Oh. Harden leaks out and yeah. scores and draws the foul. Yeah. You, if you're not going to the boards, you got to get back, but you can't play in the middle of the lane. And, and Garzone got got caught in the middle of the court, and so she shoots it. Just doesn't get back in time. After she had just been. Really in the bleachers, getting her ankle retaped. Can't finish the three-point play. Miami up by three. A minute 50 remaining. Tough defense. 
Aldana's getting set to check in. The Miami's, they've switched, so you've got to look to go inside because Kavanaugh's, yeah, right there. They had Collins on Cavender. Step back by Lexi Keys, missing the shot. Oh, just a tough shot. Got to take advantage of that mismatch. Katie Meyer calling for her team to settle down and run a play. They're going to use the clock, try to get late in the shot clock. Harden comes get the basketball. I Williams. Anticipate them trying to go inside right here. Just drive by Williams. Scores it. Five-point lead for the Kings with one minute remaining. And a timeout for Oklahoma State. Miami gets the stop on one end, the score by Harden, and then on the next play, Alnada's back onto the court for Oklahoma State, and she's fouled. Remember, Miami has a couple of fouls to give, so Jasmine Roberts commits her fourth foul, though, there. You can't do that. Nice. Bank shot by Alnada's. And then the officials blow the whistle because there is a clock issue. So they reset it to 46.0. Yeah. Good heads up by the officials. Pass over the top to Harden. Oklahoma State down by three. Really important possession for Miami here. It's about... 15 seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Right. Watch for a down screen here for Kevin. Yeah. Alnada's got a hand on it, and there's three seconds on the shot clock, and Katie Meyer calls a timeout. Haley Cavender will trigger it in. Alnada's defending. Over the top pass. They get it inside, and then a jump ball called. Now, it's going to be possession arrow Miami, but did the shot clock go off? It's going to be really close. They're yeah, going to have to take have to a go. look. So it looked like there's still about 17 seconds on the game clock and two on the shot yeah. clock from our vantage point. We'll see what the officials say. The game clock will be set to 16.9. The shot clock will be set to one. Ooh. It doesn't have to be a tap. No. It, it can be a catch and shoot, but it has to be very quick. Again, critical play for both teams right now. One second on the shot clock. Yeah, watch Pindonde. Quick oh. pass to Harden. Oh. And they get the offensive rebound, and Oklahoma State has fouls to give, so they commit one there. Now, Oklahoma State still has another foul to give with 10.6 seconds remaining. You gotta go for the steal. Look for the game today. Miami's shooting 25%. Well, yeah, just one of five. They've only been to the free throw line four times. They're gonna try to get it to Cavender. She's the best free throw shooter out there. Good work by Miami as she's an 89.7% free throw shooter. Oh. Oklahoma State has one timeout remaining. Four point lead, but 8.9 seconds remaining for the Cowgirls to get a shot up quickly here. Quickly into Garzone, over to Aussie. A quick banks it in, banks it in. They're going to check and see because her foot was very close to the three point line. So, and neither team has a timeout. Advance the ball. So if Oklahoma State does get a steal, they got to go. Well, watch, watch, Kavner's gonna run off. She's gonna do this, she's gonna run off three screens. So we're gonna see if they're gonna switch here. Here she comes right here. Oh. Five second count. Five second count called. A turnover for Miami. There were, there were no timeouts available for either team. Now Oklahoma State has to inbound it. 5.3 remaining. Yeah, or not, let's get it and take it to the basket. What? Alnatis, go get it. Here she comes, Alnatis, and Miami had a foul to give. So the clock ticks down to 4.6. Oklahoma State, remember, they won 
on a last second shot against West Virginia in the Big 12 quarterfinals. Here comes Alnanis. She's got the ball. Gonna take it in. Dribbling at the basket. No! And Miami escapes with the victory. Wow. Miami comes back from 17 points down at the half to steal the win to advance.